Ladies and gentlemen, what is that right there? Who knows right now without even looking what is in this box? I've seen them a million times. Oh. Oh, there oh, we oh. go. Oh, yes. Disappearing. Mm. Found counterfeit money. That's important. Part. What's the value on these? 400 records that we put aside. Yeah. And this is about 60 records. So I'd say roughly, you're probably sitting on at least. I'm waiting for you to tell me what you're willing to get me for them. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at this $700 unit. We're going to kind of skim through this. Dishes, dishes, princess, welcome. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. No way. Way. No way. Way. A little old. Are they real? Yeah, those are real. Just found $62. Nice, see? We're just ripping through boxes today, ladies and gentlemen. Speed unboxing, dishes. Come on. Please, please. Can we be on three, two, one? No. Mickey Mouse, no. Oh. Wow, all that for nothing. Oh, I'll take that one. Is this the one? Yeah. Stacy Adams? No, I don't like this style. This one has a feather in it. This right here? I don't know. It's cool, though. Dude, see Pull it. this. No light, but that's for viewers. It's a Howard Personaliza. Howard imprinting machine. Okay, so you pull it down and it puts a press of something on there. Like there's probably a plate that goes under there. That's what it sounds like, impressing. Is it Googleable? Uh, everything's Googleable. Is that in there? Yes, yes it is. You look, look at that. And then one of those that don't sell. Ooh, and we got another one. There's no reason to attack it. What's in there? Maybe that's not a fan. Okay, it is a fan. Yeah, you know, all right. The, old one they down. the conch. Charles. Oh, yeah. Cracker alone. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. I smell it. Ah. I knew it. Oh, I'm putting on the cameras how horrible the back of your hair looks. Look at that. You look like a chicken hawk. Scott, you let him out the house like that today? <laughs> wow. Woo, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Every time I come around your city, bling, bling. That's silver? No. It might be. It sounds like it. That I'll keep. You can have this costume jewelry. What's that, silver? It is, huh? Does that say 14K and 10K? All right. Sure. All right, I will keep that, I guess. You're welcome. I'll find a good one. I told you there's random jewelry in here. See, look, too. she this she had to be a seller. No, this ain't silver. I don't want that one. I had lots of these. But that is stamped gold. Ooh, Yeah. I just found it. I found something good. Look at the, the thing on it. The amount of gold. It's kind of tight. It's Benji's true. gonna want that for his wife. That's ugly. Right. So are you, but some people are still attracted to you. Is that gold? I don't know. It says 14 carat and 92. Well, let's not get carried away. That is a $20 purse, though. Ooh. It's got two Dooney and Burke wallets in it. Duty and Burke is good as good resale, Scott, so don't underestimate that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what's that, ladies and gentlemen? What is that right there? Who knows right now without even looking what is in this box? I've seen them a million times. Oh, no way. We're, we're going to have to get to that last, ladies and gentlemen. Here's some change for you, Scott. Special Olympics. Oh, wow. I don't even know what to say about that. Come on. Going stuff. Sewing stuff is hot. 
keychains, change like eight cents. Checkbook. Come on, be inside of there. Is it in there? Oh, it is in there. For military merit. It's one of the older ones. Cause see how it doesn't have the name on it. I mean, a newer one. The ones during the wartime, I believe, had this actual name on it. But still, very... This is priceless. Silver Award Duncan Spinning Top. Shout out to this man here, whoever they are. They served our country. They died in honor to fight for our freedoms. Such as freedom of speech and rights that I have to make these silly little videos. White shoulders chloe diamonds and sapphires this is actually if you were to ebay this ladies and gentlemen i would bet you this would be like 50 bucks believe it or not Ooh, what do we have here oh, this goes with the purple heart i've never seen that blue thing on there this we need to look up or we have to call our guy by our guy, we don't mean Harold. That's kind of cool. What's this, Uncle Mike? A navy pillow, a navy pillow. Ooh, come on. What you got there? Ooh, almost cool stuff. Almost cool stuff right there. All right. Little knickknackies. Keys. Grandma lost Vegas. Let's go to Vegas. Ooh, what is that? Scotch snuff. You want to do some of that? No, guys. Trying to quit. How do we go? Is that it? <laughs> Come on. There you go. It looks like gold. One piece of gold. That was. I bet you a dollar. Genuine Austrian crystal, not gold. How you liking my new chest cam, Scott? Tell me like this thing it. isn't sweet. Does it inspire you to want to make YouTube videos again? This makes things a little easier. I can actually work. I feel like that's a piece yeah, of gold in there. actually work. That's the best part I like about it. Okay. That looked goldish. No. Christian Dior, though. That is eBay just for the name. Okay, no, I like to look at that. JC Penney's. Go, come Ooh, a whole on. box of goodies. I got dibs on this one. I just want to up one for the camera. Ready, camera? Stainless steel and force. Look, 14 carat right there. Right? Specs. You can have check on it. Put that in your pile. Ooh, uh, not necessarily. I'm just Ooh. found change, found coin collection. Surprised Uncle Michael didn't call dibs on that already. Dibs already? What do you mean? I already did. Is that gold? No. It almost looks like it, but no, nope, that goes in your pile. Are these twenty dollar bills or are they just dollars? Are they silver? Huh? No, they're just dollars. What about any of this? Let's look, look at this one. Yeah. Fondini. This is I know what yours is. Hey, Fondini. Look at this half a nickel. Is this a nickel? Oh, there oh, we oh. go. Oh, yes. Yes. That's fake. No, that's real. That's Come fake. on. There's no holes in the back. There'd have to be diamonds holes for the diamonds. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's no, gold. I'm positive. You gotta this breathe. is gold right here. This is gold. This is... Mm, wow. This one is 100% for sure box. gold. 
Hello? Hey, what is it, all the way at the end of Harbor? Toward the end? Yes, that's gold. Oh, look at that, 10 karat gold. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like a bunch of crazy out there. Yeah. Good. Tom, you're being filmed, no cussing. <laughs> that's gold. Top, top. 10 karat. We miss you, hurry up. Mom. Oh, he's off the phone. Look at all that gold. I knew there was gold. I still feel like that you could be gold. That... Look at that. It's a good box. There's a second and there's a whole layer. Well, yeah, I'm trying to. That's gold, isn't it? Or what am I? What am I reading there? This right here almost looked like gold. It's stamped this though. Is still 14K. And another one of these I found. See, that's oh, that's, yeah, that's gold, gold, but the the chain is not. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's a good amount of gold. Oh, dang! Another piece. No. Yeah. Unless it's 18, that's really dark. Look at it. It'd have to be 18K because of how dark it is. I'm pretty sure that's gold. Maybe. Okay, next layer. What are you doing? Oh, it's inside. There's a whole yes. layer. Oh, come on. Daddy needs a new Rolex. Mm, that doesn't look too exciting. No. There's a watch. None of it. What's in there? This is the magic one. It's crazy because that top looks so good, huh? Come on, Grandma's diamond ring. Ooh, oh, that it. is nice. But they're small diamonds, diamonds. and they're still messed gold, up. Gold. But it's still gold. That's nice. It is nice. That's gold. Look at all that gold you got. Holy smokes. That is sweet. Yes. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, what? gold chain. What do you see where? Gold chain. Is it real? No. This is money right here. I just I saw. saw I just saw one of these the other day, and I listed it up to eBay for like fifty bucks. So, what do you think? Is it a I'm gonna salesman think sample? A chip salsa dip thing. The cancer. All right. There you go. Cool. I think you'll be able to get ten bucks for that. <laughs> Be a first. This is kind of neat. Ooh, that is cool. It's neat for one reason and one specific reason only. I gotta look this one up, ladies and gentlemen. Belova. Belova 72. Let's see here. I highly doubt it's auto. Allergy free gold plate, right? Oh, it's possible 24 karat. What's in there? I want that top one. Humpty Dumpty. Bambi's making a comeback. Look at the old bean. That's blue ice. Oh, it's bean. Brick. House? Some soul and R&B. Oh, the Vogue's. Where? How much? 50 to 75. In beautiful shape. A little scuff there, not bad. Nice, I like him. 50 to 75. One of my favorites right now. Why is he one of my favorites? He's 50 to 75. You guys can sit here and learn something with Tom. Are these all empties or something? No, they're just shite. This is a roach at the moment because it's friendship. That's priceless. Yeah. That's a good one. Stop. This one. Look that up because this one? yeah, because uh, one time Dan came to look at my records and he he looked this one up and this I don't know if it's the same I one. I have this, four of these in my warehouse. That there's one that's like a hundred bucks of that exact copy. There's two different kinds. I don't know which one that oh, one is. I'm in a Japanese pressing. I think it's solid yellow without the white square, but there is, I remember photos. Dan made me look this one up. Okay. You wanna keep it aside just in uh, you, can, should, you should look it up. That's an all right one. <laughs> all right, we'll skip to this. This is his Band of Gypsies album. Nice shape. Yeah, 20. Learned our lesson on you and gum. Ladies and gentlemen, comment below if you like when Tom chews gum during record filming. Yeah, I'm the gum guy. Good one. 
Great one. Great, no, that was a great one. I thought it was stand corrected. Great shape, VG plus Did plus. You see the 10? Mm, 15? Now they, nowadays, five. Oh. It's good shape. The cover's demolished, though. Yeah, Grant Green is in demand. Price range? 50 up. 50 now. All right, so stay tuned. We'll be back to show you this. Okay. Just talk loud. Uh, All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have here is a ton of R&B, some really cool contemporary jazz, and other fine instrumentals. Anyway, this one's really cool. This will be your very, a very, very cool in-demand record, Grant Green. Very cool. It's a blue note. I just realized that. Yeah. Clarence Carter. Funk factor. We can't throw up prices Pleasure, or anything. Boogie. Price each one, Tom. So, everything that's in this box is at least 10 to 15 and up. Okay. So the Grant Green stuff is like, that's like 50, maybe 75. This one here, it's got a few scuffs on it. That might be 50. Then there's some really cool, this Jerry Huff record's a great record. That might be 50 to 75 with how, how well we can clean it up. Barrow uh, Sanders, very cool. Very, uh, very cool jazz. Gary Bartz, this is a heavy record. It's very clean. We just looked at it. That's another $50 record. Music is my sanctuary. Blue Mitchell, Leroy Hudson, Joe Thomas. This is really cool because this is the group Enchantment, the Once Upon a Dream release, but it's an advanced copy, and watch this. This is before the factory issued the artwork. Oh, it's a test pressing, so what's that valued at? More than 20, which is the retail copy on okay. the high end. So I would say at least 50 minimum. Because nice. that's that came out before all the other ones did. Exactly. For that White label. Okay. Some cool percussion, more funk. This is the okay. Institute with this one. These together are probably 50. Donald Bird, iconic. Another great record. This is about 20 on Cadet. This okay. is the first release. Tony Tone Tony. Everybody remembers that. Oh yes. So it feels good and feels good. It only rains in Southern California. This is a $20 record. It's really clean. Nice. Prince, iconic, yes. Coltrane, but this is after his big stuff. This is later reissued. Okay. Mandrill, another great record. The earlier stuff is great. Stick Super. So a lot of drummer stuff in here, a lot of guitar stuff in here. Funk, soul, jazz. Herbie Hancock, funky. A great record. Linda Williams, this is probably 30 to $35. Okay. The Wolfer. Hendrix, this is the... This is the band of Gypsies. Buddy, Buddy Miles is on this record. Okay. So you, you said earlier to me that you thought this was... There is one good. that's... that's. We'll, we'll, say, we'll look this up at the end of going through okay. these. Just to go more through Hendrix, that. Rainbow Bridge. Uh, again, more percussion. Cold Blood. Everybody knows what that is. There's some more Buddy Miles here. Great record. Line Every Ex-Wife. Sound Experience. Another oh, great record on Soulville. Soulville. This is a import... Asian import of uh, James Brown, Stanley Jordan, Lou Mitchell, Rubeck. I love Rubeck. Tower Power. Who doesn't like Tower Power? Alphonse moves on. Really cool. He has these other players on this record. Hancock cover written out. Then Horace Silver. That's iconic. Blue Notes. A little condition issues, but it's pretty decent. Another black. Uh, Donald Bird is the black round. It's great. Strut. Dozer is always fun. It's always like a soul boogie, but like his big deal was in the 70s, I think. Pleasure, another soul boogie. This is Mike's favorite record. How do you say that? Making love on the housetop? Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is a spiritual... Uh, it's a spiritual songs. record yeah. called Making Love on the Housetop. Okay. We're the greatest guys. Yeah, I just... Record. This, this is about 20 to 25. Just all sorts of irony. Yeah, this is great. This is a really clean, I just checked it out earlier. This is Robert Chad. Was it's that like 200? A, no, I'd, I'd say I'm maybe on the high line, 75. Okay. Holy Ghost. 75. Trip. Yeah. I like right. it. Right up there. Some more Blue Note stuff. Later Blue Note, not early. Yeah. Another great record. And it's really decent. Jimmy like, that just looks cool to hang. I can picture this guy in like a coffee shop and he's doing oh, that beatnik yeah. stuff. I don't know why that's not the look I get. <laughs> More boogie and soul. 
This record surprised me in the last 10 years. It's gone up like three times the amount. Wow. This used to be like in the dollar bins. Now it's 10 to 15. Interesting. Blackbird. So there we All have right. it. A full, almost, well, about three quarters of a box. I had like three of these sitting in my warehouse, sitting like that, waiting for people to pick them up. Uh, there's must, a, maybe there's a certain one. Roy Ayers at Big Woody. Now we're at 3850, 33, yeah. 29, 28. That's just amazing. saying, it's not. That just tells you that my dealers are sleeping on that record because I had them sitting there for five bucks. Yeah. Same ones. And I taught you something. You did. Thank you. Nice. Most important part, what's the value on these? Jeez. Uh, well, how many boxes of the putbacks do we have? I don't know. I did. There's probably 400 records that we put aside. Yeah. And this is about 60 records. So I'd say roughly, you're probably sitting on at least seven to 800. Mm. And what are these worth to you? <laughs> are we filming? Well, yeah, this is important <laughs> stuff. This is, a, this, is, this is all anybody really cares about, the well, money, the brass tacks. Well, what are they worth to me? So whenever I buy something, I only pay half. Okay. So that's kind of my deal because I'm expected to make up my money somewhere. Gosh, for those records, I'd give you... Do I get the rest that goes with it? I don't know. Is that what that's you want? That's where I was going with it. See, that's my manager. That's Scott. Everyone's storage. Scott is my uh, not really storage. Scott. Storage. Scott is over there in deep thought. All right, and edit. I'm waiting for you to tell me what you're willing to give me for them. Um. Uh, well, let me think. You did include the other records with it. That is which part of the. It's all the ones that just went in the box. Three oh. or four. Four for everything. All right. So four for everything. Fair enough. Uh, if I give you 400 because oh, I never come you. back here again? I just ask him. Should we, should we back out that 10 I already gave you? All right, you give Scott 400. Okay. While we're here discussing things, ladies and gentlemen, well, I want to show you something. They were in with the $2. I don't know if it's true, but Scott made a good point. There's no face in these 20s. And then I compared it to a regular 20. Look at this one, Scott. All the green on his hair over here. Found counterfeiter storage unit. Is that what this was all about now? What are you doing? I don't see what you're doing. Look at his face is disappearing. Mm. Found counterfeit money, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, we are walking away. There's a one specific reason. I have many auctions coming up and sometimes you just gotta know when to fold them and know when to hold them. I kept a few things for Alameda because we will be selling there. We got the hats. We got some knickknacks, the African art, another hat, some glassware that the boss wanted. I got the purple heart and hat that I got to return and that. And then we got to figure out what the goal's worth. Being as we have to get to the auctions this Thursday, I got to I say, like, you know, if you watch them be heat, you got to know when you feel the heat and walk away. And that's what I did right here, right now. I found gold, silver, and gems. I made a tiny bit of money. I got three good videos out of it for you guys. And I'm helping these guys make a little money because people don't realize often, it's not only me that I'm making money. There's so many people who make money off of my process and I'm fine with that. Everything in my life is taken care of and I'm content and I love helping any way I can. That's the energy of the storage business that is restoraging the love. We're all done here. Been at home, looking at everything, getting ready for the gold guy tomorrow. That's a fair amount of gold right there, ladies and gentlemen. I think anyway, hard to say. Y'all know pirates love gold, silver, and gems. That right there, whoo, 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 I'm very happy.